In this video, we'll go through exam questions that cover the criteria multiply and divide whole numbers and decimals by 10, 100, and 1000. You can locate the questions on the marsmath.com website under level 1. So we'll look at questions from different exam boards. We'll start with the non calculated questions and then we'll move to the calculated questions. It's important that before you start these exercises, you know how to multiply by 10, 100, and 1000 and how to divide by 10, 100, and 1,000. So there are different rules when it comes to multiplying whole numbers and decimals. So if you haven't already done so, I'd recommend that you go and have a look at the video on multiplying and dividing by 10, 100, and 1,000 under level one on my website, and then come back to this. The reason why I say this is because it's really important that you actually clearly can see what it means when a number is multiplied by 10, 100, or 1,000. So it gets 10 times larger, or 100 times larger, or 1,000 times larger. Or when dividing, it gets 10 times smaller, 100 times smaller, or 1,000 times smaller. There are some patterns in there, which I'm going to recap quickly here. So whole numbers, like 3, for example, if I multiply that by 10, the answer is 30. So as you can see, I just added one zero to the three. If I multiply three by 100, the answer is 300. So I added two zeros to the three. If I multiply three by 1000, the answer is 3000. So I'm adding one, two, three zeros to the three. If I divide, then I remove the zeros. So let's say I have 3,000 divided by 1,000. The answer is 3. If I have 300 divided by 100, the answer is 3. If I have 30 divided by 10, the answer is again 3. If I have decimals, then I move the decimal point to the right when multiplying, because the number is getting larger, it's getting bigger, and to the left when dividing, because the number is getting smaller. Let's have a look at the first question. The average cost of petrol last year was £1.29 per litre. How much did it cost Dennis last year for 100 litres of petrol? So, 1 litre is £1.29. 100 litres will be 100 times more. So, what we're doing is 1.29 times 100. So, we have a decimal being multiplied by 100. So the answer will be 100 times bigger, 100 times larger than 1.29. So the decimal point will move to the right to make the number larger. Because if I move the decimal point from here to here, this will now be 12.9, which is larger than 1.29. Or, if I move it two places to the right, it will come over here, and it will become 129. So you can see the number getting larger and larger as I move the decimal point to the right. If I did the opposite, and I move the decimal point one place to the left, from here to here, then the number will become 0 0.129, so much smaller than 1. And if I move it two places to the left, it will become 0 0.0129, so 10 times smaller than the previous number we had. So I hope it's clear why we're moving to the right and to the left. In this case, it is the right because we're multiplying by 100. So I'm just going to rewrite the number, which is 
And as I'm multiplying by 100, I'm going to move this, the decimal point, two places, because there are two zeros, to the right. So there we have one and another one. So it moves to this point here. So I'm going to remove the previous one. I'm going to remove these two as well. So we have no digits after the nine though. No digits after the decimal point. So what does this mean? This means that this is 129. If we want to add a digit, we could do 129.0. Still means the same thing. Still has a value of 129. So in terms of money, I'm going to write 129 pounds. If you prefer, it could do 0 0.00 to mean no pence, but it's still the same. So you'd get the marks even if you wrote this as the final answer. Five kilograms of sugar cost £3.20 and contains 1,000 teaspoons of sugar. How much in pence does one teaspoon of sugar cost? So the whole pack costs £3.20 and there are 1,000 teaspoons of sugar within that pack. Now we're looking to find the cost of just one teaspoon. So we're going to divide £3.20 by 1,000. As we are dividing by 1,000, that 3.20 will get much smaller, a thousand times smaller. Because you can imagine the cost of just one teaspoon is going to be much smaller than the cost of a whole pack, the cost of five kilograms. So I'm going to rewrite the number here, 3.20. And I'm going to move the decimal point one, two, three places to the left. So we go one, two, three. Now that's where the decimal point goes. Just before the decimal point we're going to have a zero because we can't write point something without having a zero in front. And these two spaces in here, these gaps now, they will be filled with zeros. And of course, I'm going to move the decimal point from here. So what we have now is 0 0.00320. Now, what does that mean in terms of pence? We input pounds, so 3 pounds 20, that was 3 point to zero that was in pounds and we divided by a thousand so the answer is in pounds so this is something like zero point zero zero three two zero but as you know we write money with two digits after the decimal point so practically this isn't a whole pence so one teaspoon doesn't even cost a penny, costs less than a penny. So this is like 0 0.32 pence. The other method we could have used here would have been to convert the £3.20 into pence, knowing that we'd have to give the answer in pence. So £3.20, that is 320 pence. Dividing that by 1,000, rewriting 320, so it's a whole number, so that means there is no decimal point, or it's like hidden, it's at the end. So we go one, two, three places to the left, so 0 0.3. 
0 or just 0 0.32 tens. So it's the same answer, but two different methods. We've got 846.7 divided by 100. So again, we're dividing by 100. The number will get 100 times smaller, so we're moving to the left. So I'm just going to rewrite 846.7, moving the decimal point one, two places, because there are two zeros in 100. So it goes to 8.467. So 8.467. 4.7 times 1,000. So 4.7 will get 1,000 times bigger. So I'm going to rewrite 4.7 and I'm going to move the decimal point to the right to make the number bigger. One, two, three times. So one, two, three. We'll fill the gaps with zeros. And as we have no digits after this point here, I don't even need to write that decimal point. I'm just going to remove this one. And it gives me 4,700. Calculate 46.8 divided by 100. Show your calculations and the workings out here. So we're dividing the decimal by 100. So it will get 100 times smaller. Gonna rewrite it here 46.8 so we're moving the decimal point two places to the left to make the number smaller so one two the decimal point will come here again we need to put a zero in front of the decimal so this becomes 0 0.468 Work out 1.2 times 100. So 1.2 times 100 means we move the decimal point two places to the right. So there we have a zero there. I'll remove the decimal point and we have 120. If we had another digit here, then I'd need to put the decimal point, but I didn't need to. That's why it was just 120. If you want, again, you could write that and add a zero after, but it still means 120. Now we've got to work out 718.6 divided by 100. So I'm going to rewrite this 718.6, moving the decimal point two places to the left so one two there comes a decimal point and we remove this one here that we had to begin with so the number becomes 7.186 should have written it here in the first place from now on, we can use a calculator. We've got to work out 783.48 divided by 100. Write your answer correct to three decimal places in the box below. So, 783.48 divided by 100 gives us 7.8348. So we've got to give our answer correct to three decimal places. So here is the first decimal place. This is the second. This is the third. So we've got to get rid of the eight. 
but that eight is quite big so if it's five six seven eight or nine that means we're going to round up so this digit the last digit will be rounded up so that becomes a five the digits in front will remain the same so the answer is 7.835 if that wasn't eight but it was zero one two three or four then we'd have to keep this as a four so the answer would have been 7.834 rounding down in that particular case work out 22 divided by 1000 write your answer correct to three decimal places in the box below we'll use a calculator so 22 divided by 1000 gives us 0 0.02 Two. We've got to give our answer correct to three decimal places. One, two, three. Three places after the decimal point, which means three decimal places. That's already in three decimal places, so we're just going to rewrite it. 0 0.022 is the answer. Calculate 700.5 divided by 100. Write the answer in the box below. So again, we can use a calculator. 700.5 divided by 100, which is 7.005. And that's the end of the questions.